Good evening and thanks for joining us. In Vigo County, the search for a new superintendent continues. Tonight, a major step was taken in the process. The Board of Trustees has selected the Indiana School Board Association to help lead the search. New for you tonight on Night Watch, News 10's Kit Hanley explains why the board chose this search firm and what happens next. Patrice Rondrell came down to two firms, but in the end, the Board of Trustees chose ISBA in a 6-1 to one vote. Now here's how it all went down. This decision comes after meeting with five different firms this month. These include three national firms, Indiana State University's firm, and the ISBA. The board quickly ruled out the national firms, leaving both the university firm and ISBA. ISBA Director of Board Services Steve Horton presented to the board this evening. The board was very impressed by the services they had to offer. Here's what they liked. ISBA provides a software service called Revelis. Here, the board has access to all candidates that apply. Additionally, ISBA vets both internal and external candidates the same way. The university's firm does not. And of course, cost was a factor in the decision. ISBA will cost the corporation around $3,500 in fees. Now for reference, the national firms cost upwards of $20,000. President Amy Lohr wants the community to know the board has done its homework. We are trying to show the community that we're very serious about this search. That's why we went through the process of having all these extra meetings. Every possible uh, search type of search firm we looked at. Now the board will meet with the association to get things lined up. Then both stakeholder and community input sessions will follow. Back to you.